Welcome everyone to Try Hack Me. Today we're going to visit the tutorial room on Try Hack Me. And let me first start off by introducing myself. My name is Richard, aka Invite, and we're going to go through this tutorial room. This is basically the first room you want to go through when you're starting out on this platform just to get a an idea of how the platform actually works and get familiar with the platform. So on this tutorial room, um, we're going to start the attack box. The attack box is going to be started by clicking on this blue square over here. So the attack box is a web-based machine provided to us by TryHackMe. So let's go ahead and start the attack box. It's starting up. Okay, here we go. As you see in the instructions, click the blue start attack box button on top of this room and the attack box will be provided to us. It takes about a minute or two for it to load up. And while we wait for the attack box to load, let's go ahead and start our virtual machine. So we'll hit this green button right here to start the machine. While that's spinning up, that might take a minute or two. So when this machine spins up, we're going to open up Firefox and then we're going to copy and paste the IP address that will populate over here once the machine fully, fully it loads. And then from there, we should get a flag once we load the web page. An alternative method to accessing the machine would be via OpenVPN. And once we get the flag for this machine, we will go through the OpenVPN method and show you guys how to get started with OpenVPN, which is, which is my preferred method of connection. Over here, we see that we are given an IP address 10.10.120.17. Our attack box is still loading, so we'll give that another minute or two. All right, here we go. The attack box is loading up. So this attack box is a Kali VM, essentially, that's hosted on the cloud by TryHackMe. Uh, the only difference is TryHackMe imported a few of their own tools on here. And on top of that, they changed the background wallpaper um, to the advent of Cyber 2020 over here. So what we're going to do is copy the IP address right here. And then on our attack box, we'll open up Firefox right over here by clicking this icon. While we're waiting for this web browser to, to load, we're greeted by this uh, message on the terminal. So basically, it's just kind of like a warning message saying, you know, don't pen test other people using this platform, the other users that may be on this platform at the same time as you. And you're responsible for your own actions. So if you do anything malicious, um, there will be consequences for that. It basically just teaches you how to use the box and the web shells, tools, word list, where everything is located on this attack box. So you could just hit enter to close that out. Perfect. And then copy and paste the IP address. Looks like Looks like it won't let us, so we'll just go in here and type it out. 10, 10, 1, 20, 17. Once that loads, we're greeted with this Try Hack Me logo, and then our flag is populated below. So we will take that flag, see if it'll let us copy it. Copy, and then let's paste it right here in the flag field. And then we can submit it. And then, bam, congratulations, we completed the room. And then from here, once, once we completed the room, we can just hit terminate to close the machine. And then we can terminate our attack box as well. So another way to connect to the TryHackMe platform would be via OpenVPN. So let's go ahead and show that method too. So first you want to go to your profile open up access once that loads we are presented with access via openvpn you'll want to choose your vpn server so for us uh, for for me we will be in the us east regular one so we'll go ahead and download my configuration file which will just be a open vpn file so as you see right here invite which is my username in dot ov o OVPN, which is the OpenVPN extension. So this will this will automatically download into our downloads folder. So we'll just open up a terminal. 
go to our try hack me folder which we created and then we'll want to copy over the OpenVPN file to this folder, which will store all our try hack me uh, information in, in notes and whatnot. So copy, downloads, uh, VPN to this folder. So with this command, we're just copying the invite.openvpn file to our current directory, which is specified with this period. And then if you do an ls, you'll see the VPN file right here. And <clears throat> and to, to get started, we'll need to run sudo openvpn invite.openvpn. And then we'll need to enter our sudo password because this will require elevated privileges to run this. So once you see the initialization sequence completed, we should be good to go. And just to double check, we'll refresh this openvpn access details server status and connected. So we're connected via OpenVPN now. And to double check, we can come back over here. We can run if config ton O, which is going to be our, our OpenVPN IP address that's provided to us via the OpenVPN file. So here we see this is our internal IP address on the TriHackMe platform 10.6.31.16. And then back to the tutorial room, we can start the machine. We're going to be using the VPN. So it'll say, do you want to use a VPN or the attack box initially? And then you can see the instructions on how to set it up, which is basically what we're doing right now. And the VPN will allow us to connect to this VM, which will probably give us a different IP address here in about 40 seconds, but it'll allow us to connect to it on our own own Firefox browser instead of having to connect through the attack box. So we'll give that a 30 seconds. Okay, so now we are presented with our IP address, which you can just copy to clipboard right over here and then open up a new tab and then control V to paste your IP address, hit enter and boom, there is our flag. So that is how you connect to try hack me via OpenVPN, which is my preferred method of connecting to this platform. So now that we got the flag, we already entered it over here. So we already completed the room. So we can go ahead and just terminate the box. And when we terminate the box, we will still be connected because we just terminate the VM instead of the actual VPN connection. To terminate the VPN connection, we can just hit control C. Give it a second or two, it's sending an exit notification, and now we are no longer connected. So if we run if config ton zero, we'll see that there's no interface of no no existing interface of ton zero or tunnel zero. So we close that out. So on this try hack me platform, there are other things that we can do. So there are different learning paths for those of you looking to um So on Try Hack Me, here we are on Try Hack Me on the Learn tab. There are learning paths, which is a structured learning path for pre-security for those of you just trying to learn the cybersecurity basics, SOC Level 1, an introduction to cybersecurity, Red Timmy, which is offensive security, junior pen tester, cyber defense, which will be more towards blue teaming, offensive, web fundamentals, CompTIA Pen Test Plus for those of you studying the CompTIA Pen Test Plus certificate. There are different modules on here too so going from learning burp suite to metasploit to web hacking to different different uh, tools like nmap network security there's a whole lot of modules over here then there are different networks which some of these will require premium membership and then we can go to practice and then there will be a different series of rooms that we can enroll into or if we wanted to search for a specific room we could come over here and search for a specific room. On the Compete tab, there's Leaderships, King of the Hill, Workspace, Other, there's Resources, Vouchers if you want to buy vouchers, Develop Rooms for those of you looking to create your own Try Hack Me room. You could come in here and do it yourself too, which is great, it's fantastic. And then there's, there's a Swag Shop for those of you looking to buy merch and then the regular dashboard which will show the number of users on this platform and the rank 
that we currently have on this platform too. On top of that, this little this little symbol right over here is basically showing us our streak, our how many times we uh, are basically our day to day streak here. It accumulates after each day, so every twenty four hours that we visit this platform, it'll accumulate, and then on a seven streak, seven day streak, we get a badge. A thirty day streak, we get another badge. Forty five day streak, we get five percent off the swag shop. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. This is basically a quick tutorial introduction of the Try Hack Me platform. From here on out, we're going to continue down the road of pen testing and information security to those of you interested. Thank you and have a good day.